All right, so today we'll be continuing the install and uh, we'll be putting in the rock arms, which I did label one through 16, starting on the rear driver's side as one progressing towards the front, moving over to the front passenger side and working our way back. I also got a uh, new push rods uh, from Tick Performance. They're the same size as the stock push rods. So what I'm gonna be doing is applying some of this assembly lube to each push rod top uh, and then sliding them in. Okay, so I applied some assembly lube to both sides and I'm gonna slide these guys in right there. So I'll repeat the same process for the other seven push rods on this side and the other eight on the other side. All right, so all the push rods are in on both sides. Now time to start adding the rocker arms. Okay, so what I did is I added some assembly lube to the top of each valve, uh, to the top right here of uh, this rocker arm, to the back of the rocker arm, and I also put the Loctite on the bolt. So this is the first one, and this one goes in all the way back here. Let's see if we can line this up first, there we go. And we're just going to hand tighten them down, make sure they're centered across the valve spring before we start putting any kind of real pressure on them. I'll do this by hand for all of them and, uh, and then I'll grab the torque wrench. Alright, so I went and hand tightened all of the rocker arms and like most things in this car, uh, these bolts have to be torqued down to 22 foot pounds. So I'm about to start torquing it down from the first one. I made sure that it was already centered. And, uh, Still keep an eye out. Make sure it doesn't move anywhere. And proceed to torque them down the line. Got them all torqued down to 22 foot pounds. But yeah, now it looks all of them look pretty even. So happy to see that. So I went ahead and installed all the rock rodders on this side too. And now time just to tighten them down to 22 foot pounds. There's one. So it looks like it requires a little bit more. I guess somebody's home. There we go. 22 foot pounds on that. Okay, so for the next step, we gotta turn the engine over 720 degrees. I made a line that's horizontal pointing that way. One time around is 360, two times around is 720. Once we make that, we'll take a quick little inspection of how everything looks, and then we'll do another 360 degrees, and then re-tighten all of the bolts. Make sure if any of them are not at 22 foot pounds, that they are at 22 foot pounds this time. So, I got my 24 in here, and I'll start turning it. There we go. So, it's going to be a little bit difficult. It's not too bad. Okay. So far, it's been rotated 90. Eighty. Almost two seventy. All 
right at 270 at this point. And we'll keep going another circle. Okay, so the engine's been turned over. 720. Oh, it does look like it's a little loose. I don't know. I'll have to check, see if they are 22 foot pounds still. But looks okay. And, uh, Let's do the other 360. All right, engine's been rotated, additional 360. So now let's go ahead and check, make sure all the rocker arms are still at 22 foot pounds, which they seem like they are. All right, let's check the driver's side. All right, that's the driver's side. Good. 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 Last two, good. Last one, good.